and blows the horn here. I'm blowing the horn as loudly as I can. The book of Zechariah is a vital book with regards to understanding what the times that we're living in now. And it amazes me how so many events spoken of in the book of Zechariah seem to be finding manifestation in the year 2021. And one of the major themes seems to be one of repentance, the call to return. Return to me, says Yehovah. Israel finds new Dead Sea Scrolls, first such discovery in 60 years. And what fragments were discovered? The photographs and reports released by the IAA indicate the fragments contain our earliest copy of Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16 to 17, and one of our earliest copies of Nahum chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. The fragments appear to be missing pieces of a scroll already known to scholars. first fragment. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbour. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your heart against his neighbour. And love no false oaths. For all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. Zechariah 8, verse 16 and 17. So, as I said, the theme of repentance, return. And coincidentally, if you read the entire book of the entire chapter 8 of Zechariah, you will find that the theme is one of return. It's as though the Lord is saying, this is the final call. Return to me now. The second fragment. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burnt at his presence. Yea, the world, and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation, and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Nahum 1, verse 5 to 6. Zechariah and the call to return. The Lord has been very angry with your fathers. Therefore, say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 1, verse 2 and 3. The Lord is asking the world to make teshuvah. The world is... The, the Lord is returning. Therefore, he is asking everyone to turn back to Adonai and obey him. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long will you not have mercy on Yerushalayim and on the cities of Judah, against which you were angry these seventy years? And the Lord answered the angel who talked to me with good and comforting words. Zechariah 1, verse 12 and 13. Then the Lord said to me, Shout this message for all to hear. 
This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. My love for Jerusalem and Mount Zion is passionate and strong. Zechariah 1 verse 14. Zechariah and the preparation to rebuild the temple. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I have returned to show mercy to Yerushalayim. My temple will be rebuilt, says the Lord of Heaven's armies, and measurements will be taken for the reconstruction of Yerushalayim. Zechariah 1, verse 16. Is it a coincidence that on the 13th of January 2021, surveys, measurements, were taken around the Dome of the Rock by Israeli police surveyors? Interesting. I lifted up my eyes again and looked. Behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, and to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. Zechariah 2, verse 1 and 2. Isn't it interesting that in 2021, measurements have been taken on the Temple Mount. By Israeli police surveyors. Meaning, this must have been authorised by the government. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, Yeshua. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. So, the Lord will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. He will shake all nations and he will cause Yeshua to appear. This is where we are. This is what the Lord is doing. Because the Lord is returning to Yerushalayim. Say this also, this is what the Lord of Heaven's army says, the towns of Israel will again overflow with prosperity, and the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Yerushalayim as his own. Zechariah 1 verse 17. This is when the Lord returns and chooses Yerushalayim once again. For I, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around her, and I will be the glory in her midst. Zechariah 2, verse 5. The Lord himself will protect Yerushalayim. Yehovah is returning. Zechariah and the fall of the Gentile nations. Speak to Zerubbabel, Netanyahu, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake heaven and earth. I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I will destroy the strength of the Gentile kingdoms. I will overthrow the chariots and those who ride in them. The horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. Haggai 2 verse 21-22 Then 
I raised my eyes and looked, and there were four horns. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these? So he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Zechariah 1 verse 18 and 19. So, we started off with the rider on the white horse, the equivalent of Darius and Cyrus in the book of Zechariah. And the rider on the white horse came on the scene bearing a covenant, a bow, the Abraham Accord, which invoked God's judgment. And why would this invoke God's judgment, you may ask? Very good question. And I will set thy bounds from the Red Sea even unto the Sea of the Philistines, and from the desert unto the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and thou shalt drive them out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. Exodus 23, verse 31 to 33. The children of Israel are not permitted to enter into any covenant with the surrounding nations. But I am very angry with the other nations that are now enjoying peace and security. I was only a little angry with my people, but the nations inflicted harm on them far beyond my intention. Zechariah 1 verse 15. Zechariah and the transgression of the four horns. Guterres calls for UN quartet-led Israeli-Palestinian peace process. This article came out on the 6th of February. Speaking of the intention of Guterres, to schedule a meeting, a quartet-led meeting, to deliberate on the issue of the Israeli-Palestinian peace process. Of course, with the intention of reaching the conclusion that a two-state solution would be the best outcome for peace. The dividing of the apple of God's eye. Interesting how the book of Zechariah references this. I will have you note that this has never happened in the past. The quartet or the four horns are purely a phenomenon of our times, which means Zechariah is speaking of our very day. So, most of the world want creation of a Palestinian state. It seems the United States has been a major stumbling block. Most of the world wants to rip out the heart of Israel, Judea, and Samaria. 
give it to the Palestinians and divide the apple of God's eye, Yerushalayim. A vision of peace, they call it. Which is anything but. And it seems they have gone ahead. Middle East Quartet discusses reviving meaningful Israel-Palestinian peace talks. March 23rd, 2021. Middle East Quartet of Mediators, the United States, Russia, the European Union, and the United Nations. In other words, the Gentile Nations. Discussed on Tuesday, reviving meaningful negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians with the aim of a two-state solution. In a statement following their meeting, the quartet said that both Israel and the Palestinians need to refrain from unilateral actions that make a two-state solution more difficult to achieve. It appeared to be the first time since September 2018 that envoys from the four mediators have met. Last month, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he hoped there would be a quartet meeting in the in coming weeks. Now that there was a new president in the White House, the Palestinians want a state in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, with East Jerusalem as its capital. All territory captured by Israel in 1967, under a failed peace proposal by former U.S. President Donald Trump. Washington would have recognized Jewish settlements in occupied territory as part of Israel. The new administration of President Joe Biden has said it supports a two-state solution between Israel and the Palestinians, and will overturn several decisions made by Trump. It has said it will continue to urge other countries to normalize ties with Israel, but stressed that is not a substitute for Israeli-Palestinian peace. In what is widely seen as one of Trump's few foreign policy successes, Washington secured agreements la late last year by four Arab states, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Sudan and Morocco, to start normalizing relations with Israel. So, they finally done it. They have met. And it is clear that their intention is to divide the apple of God's eye. As referenced in the book of Zechariah. So, what happens after this? According to Zechariah. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has for forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed to you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Isaiah 49 verse 14 to 16. God loves Zion. And you shall lie. For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory to the nations which plunder you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. For surely I will shake my hands against them, and they shall become spoil for their servants. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Zechariah 2, verse 8 to 9. The Gentile nations are about to be judged. Things are about to escalate 
rapidly. The four holds are in trouble because they've lifted up their horns against Judah, Jerusalem, and Israel. Zechariah and the unleashing of the four craftsmen. So, then the Lord showed me four craftsmen, and I said, what are these coming to do? So he said, these are the horns that scatter Judah, so that no one could lift up his head. But the craftsmen are coming to terrify them to cast out the horns of the nations that lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter it. Zechariah 1 verse 20 to 21. So the craftsmen are about to be unleashed on the Gentile nations for lifting up, for scattering Judah. so that no one could lift up his head. Expect disease, expect famine and economic collapse, expect war, and expect deception. And I suspect these will intensify after Yom Kippur 572. Zechariah and the transgression of Babylon USA. So the This Shemitah is when America, Babylon, will be destroyed. Deliver thyself. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory to the nations which plunder you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. For surely I will shake my hands against them, Babylon and the Gentile nations, and they shall become spoil for their servants. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Zechariah 2 verse 8 to 9. Therefore hear this now, you who are given to pleasures, who dwell securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, nor shall I know the lost children. Isaiah 47 verse 8 Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I have profaned my inheritance and given them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the elderly you laid your yoke very heavily. Isaiah 47 verse 5 and 6 And you said... I shall be a lady forever, so that you did not take these things to heart, nor remember the latter end of them. Isaiah 47 verse 7. So, why is Babylon USA being judged? 
You see, warnings have come to Babylon, USA. One of the more serious warnings was had to do with the bringing down of the Twin Towers. However, in defiance, Babylon, USA, rose from the ashes built and said to the Lord we remember we rebuild we come back stronger in the spirit of defiance raising the new tower of Babel the tower of abomination the symbol of one world government, the symbol of man's desire to return to the rule of Nimrod. Who had the spirit of Cain. The spirit and will soon return to the earth one final manifestation. Babylon places the image of foreign gods on her towers, mocking the Lord. Neo Egypt, Neo Babylon, like the old Egypt also loves to enslave. Perhaps this is why the Lord says he will make them a spoil to their slave. As it was in the days of Lot, so it is now in Neo-Sodom, Neo-Babylon, Neo-Egypt. Neo-Babylon specializes in the production of pornography as the kings of the earth commit fornication with her. Neo-Babylon creates 60% of the world's pornographic material polluting the entire earth. Neo Babylon sacrifices their children could this be why the Lord is upset with Neo Babylon as she as she flirts with Azazel, Baphomet, as she invites foreign gods, and lights up her abominable tower after every abomination. has been enacted into law. Neo Babylon lights up her abominable tower Neo Babylon erects the ancient archways of Baal and summons the gods of old.
Perhaps that is why Neo Babylon is full of all kinds of debauchery. Just like the Babylon of old, your Babylon is consumed by lust. Therefore, the writing is on the wall. Babylon has been weighed in the balances and found wanting. Zachariah and the fall of Babylon, USA. In this Shemitah year, 5782, September 2021 to September 2022, when it all falls, the Great Reset. What can we expect? Well, we can expect the end of Neo Babylon's economic strength. We can expect the end of the dollar as the world reserve currency. As hyperinflation takes hold and drives the value of the dollar to near zero. And of course, since the dollar is the world reserve currency, it'll cause a global crisis. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou heard not the oil, the wine. Revelation 6 verse 6. See, thou heard not the children of God, the olives that have been crushed and turned to fine oil, the grapes have been crushed and turned to fine wine. The Lord will protect his own. Inflation, famine, scarcity, economic collapse. As referenced in Matthew 24, verse 7, and Revelation 6, verse 5 and 6. The price of food will skyrocket. The price of commodities will skyrocket. And we will see a global economic collapse. Which will probably begin on the 29th of Elul. Which falls on Monday the 6th of September 2021. So... The existing monetary system is about to collapse. God will judge the financial systems of the world. And from the ashes will rise the new order. The writing is on the wall. Babylon, USA, has been weighed in the balances and found wanting. And I suspect 
Zechariah and the fall of Babylon you will see. The fall of Babylon will continue into next year when I believe the red states will come against her. I believe Babylon USA will be engaged in a war which will commence early next year. Possibly the end of January or or the beginning of March. The wars referred to in Matthew 24 verse 6 and Revelation 6 verse 3. The Red Horse War. The one the Muslims refer to as al Malhama al kubra The big war, the great battle. which will probably involve nuclear exchange. As it's been telegraphed for years now. And it'll spread over a fourth of the earth. At this time, the famine Would have taken on unbelievable dimensions as referenced in Revelation six, verse five to six, and Matthew twenty four, verse seven. And we can see that already. almost be a reenactment of the plagues of Egypt crop failure droughts will increase of course the throne of God is approaching And it's already having an effect on the earth. Tell it to your children and let your children tell it to their children and their children to the next generation. What the locust swarm has left, the great locusts have eaten. What the great locusts have left, the young locusts have eaten. What the young locusts have left, the other locusts have eaten. Joel 1 verse 3 to 4. We will see more. We will see more starvation. Similar to what's happening in Yemen. 
And of course, more pestilence. Or death. Of many. The weather will become much worse as the fiery red dragon approaches. The earth will be scorched. The tornadoes will get worse as the fire and dragon gets closer. We will have more volcanic eruptions, more wildfires, flooding, landslides. Have you noticed that the eruptions, volcanic eruptions, have increased dramatically since the beginning of 2021? It's because of the approach of the fiery red dragon, the Lord's Tabernacle. All of these set to worsen. With the waves and the seas roaring, the earth in perplexity. Zachariah and the call to make Aliyah Zachariah references flee Babylon up up flee from the land of the north says the Lord for I have spread you abroad like the four winds of heaven says the Lord up Zion escape you who dwell with the daughter of Babylon Zechariah 2 verse 6 and 7 when Babylon, USA falls, the greater exodus begins. Because Babylon, USA is the mother of exiles. The mother of exiles. And who are the exiles? The children of Jacob. Ephraim. But his father refused and said, I know, my son, I know. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his descendants shall become a multitude of nations, people, Goyim. Genesis 48, verse 19. Babylon, USA, the melting pot. The multitude of nations, the mother of exiles. Ephraim mixes herself with the Gentile nations, seeking favor with one country, then another. Ephraim is a cake not turned, worthless, ready to be thrown away. Strangers have devoured his strength, yet he does not know it. Grey hairs are sprinkled on him, yet he does not know. Hosea 7 verse 8, 9. Babylon USA must fall because Babylon USA holds the greatest number of Jews outside Israel. The 
the Lord is about to bring them back from the four corners. Because as he shakes the earth, he will bring his people back. He will cause them to make Aliyah. The Lord is bringing his people back. And as he brings his people back, Satan will go after the elect bride to destroy as many as possible before the great rapture rescue. Matthew 24 verse 9 to 14. Revelation 6 verse 9 to 11. This article came out on the 10th of February 2021. Major Kabbalistic leader predicts star of Yaakov as early as Adar, February 12th to March 13th. Now, I don't believe that we would literally see the fiery red dragon in the skies, and the heavenly Yerushalayim. But I believe this time frame marked a rapid acceleration in its approach towards the earth. That's the reason why we've had an uptick in the volcanic eruptions and the earthquakes. and the natural disasters. It's because of the approach. A star rises from Yaakov, a scepter comes forth from Yisrael. It smashes the bow of Moab, the foundation of all the children of Set. Numbers 24 verse 17. The star of Yaakov, the fiery red dragon. It's on its way. It's been here many times before. It was here when Enoch was taken. It caused the great flood of Noah. It destroyed the Tower of Babel. It was used by the Lord to destroy the Tower of Babel. It was used by the Lord to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. It was here during the time of Joseph in Egypt. It was here during the time of the Exodus. Joshua's long day. Job's troubles, Ruth and Naomi. It's been here many, many times before. And now it's coming back. And it will be upon us. The month of Nisan, 5782. Join this Shemitah year. When it arrives, it will eclipse the sun. His kingdom will soon be here. The fiery red dragon, Revelation 12, verse 3 to 4. This is what will cause men's hearts failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. The Lord will use this fiery red dragon to shake the heavens. It is coming with the Lord's dwelling place the heavenly Mount Zion, the tabernacle of Yehovah. Zechariah and the Rapture of the Elect Bride It is out of this tabernacle 
and the Lord Yeshua will come for his bride. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day. Joined to the Lord. What do you think that is speaking of? And they shall become my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you, Zechariah 2, verse 10 to 11. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 9. The birth of the man-child and his elect bride, the church. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. Zechariah 2 verse 11 The word used there, joint, is the one used in the context of marriage, cleave. Remember Genesis, the man shall leave his parents and the woman shall leave her parents and they shall cleave together and become one. This is speaking of the rapture. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindred and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms, in their hands, Revelation 7 verse 9. Of course, Zechariah also reveals what happens when we get to the throne. We stand before the throne. After the snatching away, Satan is waiting at the throne room to accuse Yeshua and his elect bride, Zechariah 3 verse 1, the brand plucked from the fire. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. See, because this is, the this is the time when the Lord will choose Jerusalem. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Zechariah 3 verse 2. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Revelation 12 verse 7 and 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Because this is happening at the same time as the Lord chooses Jerusalem and the Lord returns to Jerusalem. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? That's the rescue, the rapture rescue, plucking out of the fire. Zechariah 3 verse 2. Then Yeshua will be in the midst of his Elect bride, Zechariah 3, verse 6 to 8, Revelation 7, verse 9 to 17. Yom Ha Aliyah, the day the bridegroom and bride ascend the throne, the tenth of Nisan. Yeshua crowned as high priest, king, and judge over Yahuwah's creation. Zechariah 3, verse 3 to 5, 6 to 8, Zechariah 6, verse 11. Then Yeshua will crown the overcomers. And the Lord will take possession of Judah as his inheritance in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Zechariah 2, verse 12. Zechariah and the lions return in wrath. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy habitation. Zechariah 2, verse 13. After the rapture, the coronation, the Passover meal, Yeshua will return to the end, to the earth, in wrath. And that is when the rich men 
the mighty will say to the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Fire and dragon will rain down, and this is the day, and just as Pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea, this is the day Satan and his angels are cast out of heaven. Revelation 12, verse 9 to 10. 17th of Nisan. This is also the day Gog of the land of Magog will be destroyed on the mountains of Israel. I will call for a sword against Gog throughout all my mountains, says the Lord God. Every man's sword will be against his brother. Ezekiel 38 verse 21. For the Lord will rise up as at Mount Perizim. He will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his act, his unusual act. Isaiah 28 verse 21, of raining down fire on his enemies. This is what we can expect. These are all the events that we can expect between now and April of 2022. Thank you for listening to me. The Lord will soon be here. Um, there are tough times ahead. Uh, once again, I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just telling you what the word says. Those who trust in the Lord are perfectly fine you have absolutely nothing to fear and for those who do not know the lord please turn to the lord and just ask him lord god in heaven i need a savior i am a sinner i need you to rescue me i, I thank you i thank you that you came to, the, to this world and lived the perfect life and died the life the death of a sinner my death to take to take my sins away to, to take to save me from the judgment that is to come. I accept your Holy Spirit and I ask that your Holy Spirit cleanses me and makes me a new person. Come to the Lord. Make Teshuvah. Return before it's too late. I am a watchman blowing the horn blowing it as loudly as I can, and I am out.